we are going to complete exploration three and then we're going to uh, do the lesson check. Maybe correct the homework if we have extra time. So on page 437, we're going to continue with uh, number 22. So question 22, they're asking us, why is it important to collect data or information about weather? How do we use these data in our daily lives? So we studied different ways we can uh, predict weather. And now they're asking us why is this important and how can we use this information in our daily lives? So who can help me with the answer here? Why do you think it's important to uh, find or um, create information about weather? Why is it important to uh, find information about weather? Why do we care about weather? Yes, Adia. Uh, I was gonna lower my hand. Okay. Wh why do you think it's uh, we care about weather, Hadia? Uh, uh, be because we. Um, uh, what does it matter? Like, why do we always look at the temperature? Why are we learning about weather? Be because to know about it okay but why do we need to know about it how is this going to help us every day because uh, if uh, if we open the window we know what's the weather well yes if we open the window and um, feel the weather we can learn more about the weather of that day but why do you care about the weather why do you check the weather every day because we can see it, it's cold or warm. And why do you want or to know if it's sunny. cold or warm? Why do you what? want to know? Why do you want to know if it's cold or warm? Hmm. What? Think about it a little. Lama, what do you think? It's cold, Papa. Lama, what do you think? Protect ourselves. Teacher, protect ourselves. Mm, did you think of that? <laughs> yeah. No, she did not. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to think of it, Hadia. <laughs> I, I just need the help. How do you know what to wear in the morning, Hadia? How do you know if you need to wear a jacket or a t-shirt? Uh... We uh, we can we can open the door and know it's cold or uh, or warm. Yeah, so we need to check the weather every day so we can um, figure out what to wear. For example, so it's imp important to collect data of uh, for the weather so we can know what to wear and stay safe. Thank you, Hadia. Bisan seems to have a different explanation here. What do you think, Bisan? Wait, teacher. Um, we we like when we see the weather on the phone, we know what to wear, like um jacket exactly. or. And for example, when if you see that on the weekends there is going to be a thunderstorm, do you leave the house? No. No, you want to stay safe. So that's another example. Knowing about the weather helps us stay safe and it helps us know what to wear so we can have a comfortable um, day. So let me write the answer here. Why is it important to collect data about weather and how do you use these data in our daily lives? Knowing about weather helps us stay safe learning about weather also tells us what to wear to protect ourselves. 
or what to wear every day. I'll make it shorter for you. Pennsylvania. 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 Try again. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania on uh -huh. the east coast the, uh, of the uh, United States. United? United States. The other bar graph shows the pre precipitation in Honolulu, Hawaii. Honolulu. Hawaii. In the Pacific Ocean. Miss, can I answer? I like to answer, not to read. Okay, I'll give you a chance uh, later, okay? Um... Yusuf, do you see the bar gra graphs in your book? Uh, yeah. So these bar graphs are showing us the different temperatures every month and every season in different areas. We have uh, Pennsylvania and Hawaii. So I want you to uh, read number 23, question 23. And when you, we start answering, we have to look back, back at the bar graph to find the answers. So go ahead, start reading, please. Use information from the bar graph to circle the best prediction from temperature and precipitation from the statement. So first we're going to uh, look at the temperature. Read A, please. The high temperature in February will be higher than the temperature in November. Do you think this is right? No. Let's look at the temperature in uh, February. The high temperature in February and February is here and here will be higher than the temperature in November. So based on the uh, bar graph here, what's higher, November or February? November. November is February is sorry November is higher in both bar graphs which means that in the future November will also be higher so we are predicting the future weather based on patterns that occurred or happened in the past okay thank you Yusuf uh, let's uh, ask someone else to read B Fahad, read B, please, so we can see if it's correct or false. The high temperature in July will be about 20 less Fahrenheit. than high temperature in August. So we're looking at the high temperature in uh, July and we're calculating here. We're looking at the data in July and August. So this is July. What was the temperature in July here? In July was uh, 60. In July it was almost 60 and in August it was? It's very close, right? August. Well, this is is August. Is What's the temperature in August? Closer to 60. Yes, it's also very close to 60. So they're almost very yeah. similar. Even in Hawaii, the temperatures of August and July are very close. So is there a 20 uh, degree uh, difference between them or is it less? It's uh, it's closer. 
it's too close. So there's no uh, 20 degrees difference between them. So B is incorrect. Thank you, Fahad. Fatima, read C, please. The high, the high temperature in November, November. will be well. November will be higher than the temperature in Dick, Dick, this month. December. December. So look at the bar graph, the temperature in November, which is this, and the temperature in December. We're looking at it in Philadelphia and also in um, Hawaii. So what was higher, November or December? What do you think? In Philadelphia, what was higher, November or December? November. November was higher. What about Hawaii? What was higher, December or November? December or November. In Hawaii, the second bar graph. The second bar graph. Uh. December, December. December. Yes, December is higher. So every time the uh, difference is changing, sometimes November is higher and sometimes December. So can we predict that the temperature in November will be higher next time? Is this possible? Yes. Yes, correct. It's possible because it's changing every time. So there's no uh, accurate pattern. Good job, Fatima. Yara, read D. We're going to talk about precipitation now. Read D. January will have more precipitation than October. January and October. We're looking at the precipitation of Hawaii right now. So look at January is here and October is here. Okay. So which is higher? January. Excellent. January has more precipitation. So these are predictions of the weather that help us identify what type of weather will be in the future. Thank you, Yara. Yes, and read E, please. E. The, the average break per, per, per Precipitation, precipitation. Precipitation in May will be about five inches more than in June. So we're looking at May and we are looking at June. What was the amount of precipitation in June? In June, wait, June, June, um, 40. No, not 40, um, 50. Look at the numbers here. Yes, Anne. Here okay. The second here. bar graph, the one that's called precipitation. Um, one? Yes, it's less than one, right? So also uh, June, what about June? June and May are both less than uh, one inches, right? Mm -hmm. So, because they're both less than one inch, is, does, is there a, a difference between them? Is there a five inch difference between them or no? No. No, so this one is incorrect. Thank you, Yazan. Lisan, what about F? Read F, please. February well has less precipitation than January. Than June. So look at February. This is February and this is June. Is February going to be less than June? Yes. 
How much is February? February is two. And how much is June? Two and a half. June, not January. June. J U N E. Um, I think zero. So it's not going to be less. June is going to be less, right? Yes. Okay. Good job, guys. So the answer here is C and D. Write the answers, please. And then now we're going to go to the lesson check and start solving it together. We have less than 20 minutes left. For, for, for you mean for a hair choice if it was true or no? Yeah, do you think she, uh, she's wearing something appropriate for the weather or this is not a very, uh, a very good choice for her? I think yes, because here is sunny in the picture a little bit. So, because it seems sunny, the, and also in Turkey, for example, in January it's cold, but sometimes in other places it's not as cold as Turkey, right? So the, different, the weather yes. might be different. Do you have uh, another explanation? No. Okay, so Maritza might be wearing a suitable outfit because it's sunny. The weather can be different in January around the world. Okay. Going to give you a second to uh, write your answers. The weather was like on that day, um, uh, uh, hundred years ago. Do you think this would help us predict the weather? No. Okay. What about me? Observing how weather patterns repeat patterns. year after year. Uh, finding the highest and lowest temperature in each month. Uh, C. Finding the highest and lowest temperature in each month. Do you think this will help us predict the average weather? Yeah. Yes, I think you're correct. Good job. Because looking at the highest temperature and the lowest temperature of each month is going to uh, let us predict what the hottest day is going to be like and what the warm, uh, sorry, the coolest day is going to be like. So looking at the highest and the lowest can help us predict or figure out what's uh, the average or the uh, in-between temperature. Thank you, Ed. Okay, let's go to the next page. We have less than seven minutes left. Yezan, read the first question, please. You look at the for average Chicago. Chicago. You. Average temperature of 47 Fahrenheit and 59 Fahrenheit. 
the Fahrenheit? Which likely you looking at? Which three months are you most likely looking at? So it is, uh, they are both very warm weathers. And we know that, uh, for example, uh, September is which season? Yes, and do you remember? September? Mm. No. So September is fall, right? Oh. Um, yeah. August is still uh, in summer. Uh, July, August, still in summer. Uh, March is spring, like now. So when you look at this temp these temperatures, what do you think the uh, correct um, season or uh, months are? You can go back to the data um, in your book. I think it was the duck. You had the table in your book, right? So these pictures can help us here. So what, what do you think the answer is? Um, let me go. Um. So here they're saying that thunderstorms rolled through the city on hot summer afternoons in July, right? So it's going to be hot in July. So we go back. Do we have an option that begins with July? Yeah, B, July, August, and September. So we can put B. So we can always use uh, tables and graphs to help us find the answer and predict the weather. Um, the answer is still D. B, sorry. Thank you. As that, bar graphs can help you do what? Um, explain. Um, explain data. Okay. Explain data. Reviewing data in the bar graphs can help you compare. Compare works. Good job. Let's see who can help us with this. Um, Nadia. Looking at those patterns can show you how the data changes or prove? Uh, changes. Excellent. Changes because the, the data can change. And these patterns can be used as evidence to help you? Help you uh, uh, prove. Excellent. It helps us prove our data. Picture. Give me a second, Dehadi. We have a minute left. Let me finish this, this question. Yara, and see, they're asking which shows a pattern in weather data. Circle the best answer. So we need to choose the answer that shows a pattern in weather data. Do you think A shows a pattern? A show? A. Do you think A shows any patterns in weather? No. What about B? Yes. Possible. What about C? Yes. Is 60 and 39 close? I don't know. Not really. Uh, what about D? Record high precipitation in August. They only give us an example of August. So like you said, B shows a pattern because uh, it's uh, changing, uh, counting up by 5 or by 10. Okay, guys, you did an excellent job today. Mm -hmm.